Hello and welcome to the Library of Chaos. Today we will be opening up the world of Teller's Tales once again and taking a look at the story of Icewind Dale. Icewind Dale in, is a very large, very complex story, but there may not be time in between all of the story beats for these characters to be properly introduced and spoken about. So, that is what I intend to do with this series. I will be introducing the characters for Teller's Icewind Dale, and going over a little bit of the information about them, and just the basics. Race, class, how they got where they are, and any other important details. All that to say, today we will be taking a look at the drunken satyr, Eloise. Eloise as a Bakai is incredibly drunk at all times and serves the festival god Dionysus. First and foremost, any of her her motivations or where she goes throughout the story will likely be influenced by that fact. She's a servant of Dionysus and is his reveler. She drinks and parties wherever she goes, bringing the word of Dionysus with her. She arrived to Icewind Dale on a pirate ship that crashed in the snowy plains. She doesn't exactly remember how she got to Dugan's Hole, only that she was hunting rabbits and invade a cloak from their skin. She does have a tanned leather cloak, it's just doesn't look like rabbit skin. That's all we know at the moment, but... It is said that a Bacchae's wine can make them see whatever Dionysus needs. So who knows what it was. She is also a great fighter and talker, but she is not exactly the greatest at intelligence-based things. This is to be expected as she is what Mechanically, is a level 2 dex build barbarian. Charisma and dex are her main two stats. As a satyr, she has a couple things that help with that, such as magic resistance, and a couple things like that. Also, major detail that anyone would notice seeing her, she is very pregnant, which is an odd thing to see. Also, she is completely unprepared for the winter in a Bacchae's garb of furs and fig leaves. Beyond that, not much is known about her, and not much is pertinent to the story, as she's one of the easier characters to explain. I will continue to look at some of the more complex characters as we continue on. But for now, I've been your curator and your guide. Farewell until next time from the Library of Chaos.